Assalamu alaikum students. Today we will solve the MCQs of chapter 19 aldehydes and ketones. First MCQ is aldehyde can be synthesized by the oxidation of so primary alcohol. Okay, let's suppose we take a primary alcohol like COH. Okay, here hydrogen. Now this is the primary alcohol. Okay, in case of oxidation, what happened? This hydroxyl group and oxygen uh, hydrogen is removed. Okay, and oxygen uh, another oxygen is attached through the double bond with carbon. Okay, so this they give primary al they give aldehydes. Okay, acetaldehydes. In Tollens test, aldehydes are so aldehydes are oxidized to acids. Okay, carbon in carbonyl group is hybridized sp2 okay let's suppose this is a carbonyl group okay so let's find the hybridization here is the two bond three bond pair okay lone pair plus bond pair so lone pair is zero and bond pair is three okay double bond will be considered a single so it will give sp2 hybridization the compound which reacts with phallic solution is aldehyde okay aldehyde only react with phallic solution look at here this one is the correct okay this one is the benzaldehyde so option c is correct addition of hcn to acetone form cyanohydrins it's an example of nucleophilic addition reaction okay option b is correct here because uh, cyanide in this case act as a nucleophile okay like if the bond is broken between hydrogen and cyanide so the negative charge will come on cyanide so it will act as a nucleophile and it will be added to the aldehyde or ketone aldehydes are reducing agent in reaction with phallic solution they reduce the cu plus 2 ion okay like the aldehyde gives electron to the copper ion which of the following statement is not correct so the first one is aldehyde and ketone undergo the nucleophilic addition reaction this one is the correct okay as you know that the carbonyl group of aldehyde and ketone is polar okay when the bond is pi bond is broken between oxygen and carbon so what happened the carbon gets the positive charge okay so when the carbon get positive charge so nucleophile can easily be attached to them so that's why aldehyde and ketone undergo the nucleophilic addition reaction look at the b option aldehydes and ketone under undergo electrophilic substitution this one is incorrect okay so the incorrect statement is b because aldehyde and ketone do not undergo the electrophilic substitution reaction because the carbon is the positive charge okay look at the c option aldehyde and ketone contain polar carbonyl group this one is the correct okay lower member of aldehyde and ketone are soluble in water due to hydrogen bonding this one is also correct okay the oxygen of carbonyl group attached to the oxygen of water through the hydrogen okay hydrogen of water that's why they form the hydrogen bond clemenson re reaction converts the aldehyde and ketones into option a is alcohol option b is alkane and option c is ether so option b is correct okay clemenson convert the aldehyde and ketone into alkane tenth in wolf kishner reaction aldehydes and ketones are converted into alkane by treating it with Hydrazine, KOH, and glycol. Okay, so option C is correct here. In wolf kishner reaction, these three compounds are used. Which one is more reactive? So we know that acetone, this one is aldehyde, acetone, ketone is, this one is also ketone, and this one is also ketone. Okay, so we know that aldehyde is more reactive as compared to ketone. So option A is correct here. So aldehyde is more reactive than alkane. Okay, the first reason is what steric hindrance. Okay, look at here in aldehyde only one bulky group is attached. Okay, and in ketone two bulky groups are attached. So that's why the nucleophile cannot easily attach on this ketone. Okay, so nucleophile will come and it will attack on aldehyde. Okay, so it so this one is the first reason that nucleophile aldehyde is more reactive. That aldehyde is more reactive as compared to ketone okay now the second reason is alkyl group okay 
Now, let's suppose here is a nucleophile, okay? Nucleophile is here and it want to attack in either aldehyde or it want to attack on ketone, okay? So, let's suppose before going to a reaction, first thing is that this bond have to broken, okay? This bond have to break, look at here. This one will be good broken down, okay? So in turn, this oxygen will get the negative charge and the carbon will get the positive charge, okay? And this oxygen will give the negative charge and this one will get the positive charge. Now, look at here. Here is one alkyl group and here is two alkyl groups, okay? Now, we know that alkyl group is the electron donating group, okay? So, this alkyl group will donate the electron. It means that it donate the negative effect to the carbon okay ne it means that negative effect okay and look at here this this one will also donates electron donating group so this one will also here and this one will also donates the negative effect of electron okay now look at here the positive effect is here stabilized by this negative effect okay and here the positive effect is stabilized by only one alkyl group so it means that the posit positive effect is smaller here on this carbon and on this carbon the positive effect is greater okay so it means that the positive effect on aldehyde is greater as compared to the positive effect of ketone okay now look at here a nucleophile is waiting so we know that nucleophile is in search of positive charge okay means it is in search of nucleus means positive proton okay so this nucleophile will attack on aldehyde instead of ketone okay so this nucleophile will easily come and it will attack to this carbon and in turn reaction will occur with aldehyde okay so this is because the positive effect on this carbon is greater okay because one aldehyde group is attached while the positive effect on this carbon is less because two aldehyde groups are attached okay so the easily aldehyde will be react easily okay and ketone will less react as compared to the aldehyde so we can say that aldehyde is more reactive as compared to the ketone okay so this one is the reason that aldehyde is more reactive as compared to the ketone the next one is following is the solvation of now look at here this one is the ketone okay so this is the solvation of ketone in water in base catalyzed reaction of carbonyl compound the catalysis the catalyst is so the catalyst increases the nucleophilic character of the reagent okay so option a is correct here we know that a base is a nucleophile that's why it will increase the nucleophilic character of the reagent option a is correct here. aldehydes are reduced to primary alcohol option a is correct nucleophilic addition reaction are catalyzed by acid and base both a and b is correct okay and acid increases the electrophilic character of the carbonyl compound and base increases the nucleophilic character of the reagent after nucleophilic addition reaction the hybridization of carbonyl carbon changes to changes from sp2 to sp3 look this is carbonyl ca carbon okay so in this case it has sp2 hybridization when a nucleophile is attached to this carbon so what happened co and here is a nucleophile okay so in this case it has sp3 hybridization alcohols react with aldehyde and ketones in the presence of acid an addition product hemiacetal is produced hemiacetal contain an alcohol and ether functional group option b is correct here okay hemiacetal react with excess of alcohol producing acetal acetal contain so acetal contain two ether functional group bonded to the same carbon on either side so option a is correct and this one is also called gem ether okay gem ether is the one which contain the same uh, same ether functional group on one carbon okay and here in case of what is vesinal Vesinal is the one which has a functional group, same functional group on the adjacent carbon, while the gem is the one which has same functional group on one carbon atom. Okay, so in this case, the acetal is the gem ether. Acetal contains gem ether. Okay, which means two ether functional group bonded to same carbon. On heating aldehydes with failing solution, we get a break red. Okay, specific red. 
ketones are less reactive than aldehyde it is due to the steric hindrance plus alkyl group so option d is correct here which one will react with both aldehydes and ketones so grignard reagent react with both aldehydes and ketones and these three react with aldehydes only okay and aldehyde with when react with grignard reagent it give primary and secondary alcohol when ketone react with grignard reagent it gives the tertiary alcohol which reaction may be associated with both aldehydes and ketones so aldehydes can aldehydes undergoes the nucleophilic addition reaction okay here option b is correct the carbon atom of carbonyl group is sp2 hybrid reduction of aldehydes and ketones to hydrocarbons using zinc amalgam and hcl is called clemenson reduction reaction option d is correct which one is incorrect statement so the incorrect statement is aldehyde and ketone undergo the electrophilic substitution reaction carbonyl carbon of carbonyl group is trigonal planar because it is sp2 hybridized the reduction of carbonyl group into alkane okay is carried out with wolf kishner reduction reaction okay 29 a compound c4h10o yield a compound of c4h8o on oxidation the compound this one is so now look at here we have to find with which one compound is this okay c4h10 first of all you have to find whether this compound contain a double bond or not now look at here first find the degree of unsaturation okay which is equal to c minus h divided by 2 plus n divided by 2 and plus 1 now 4 minus 5 plus 1 so 0 it means that there is no double bond so when double bond is not present it this compound may be alcohol or ether okay now look at the next one this one let's find that whether this compound contain a double bond or not so c c minus h divided by 2 plus n divided by 2 and plus 1 okay 4 minus 4 plus 1 so it means that one double bond is present in this compound so what does it mean it means that this one is either a ketone or aldehyde either ketone or aldehyde so we have to find out that which one compound is this so let's find let's see the mcq's options okay look at here option b is the correct okay the initial compound was alcohol when it is oxidized so it gives either ketone or aldehyde 30 formaldehyde gives an additive product with methyl magnesium iodide which on hydrolysis gives we know that when we react the formaldehyde with Grignard reagent it gives the primary alcohol so when we react the formaldehyde with mag methyl magnesium iodide so it will give the ethyl alcohol okay next one which of the following compound can react with ammonical silver nitrate solution to form a silver mirror so we know that the aldehyde react with ammonical silver nitrate solution okay so here option d is the correct one. look at this one ethanol which of the following compound precipitate cu2o from failing solution but does not react with sodium metal so we know that a compound that react that precipitate the cu2o from failing solution is aldehyde okay so option b is correct here when propanol is heated with failing solution there is a change of color from blue to red okay